Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to learn all about JavaScript regular expressions. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching informative tech videos like this one, consider subscribing to Simply Learn's channel to stay up to date on the trending technologies and also hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without further delay, let's begin. So what exactly are regular expressions? Now, a regular expression is basically a sequence of characters. Now, these characters could be digits or the letters of the alphabet. And this expression usually searches for a particular pattern. Now, the user can basically define what has to be searched in a text, all right? And these expressions could be alphabet or digits as I explained before. Also, one of the main reasons that we use regular expressions is for text search and text replacement operations. So this is the general syntax. You have a pattern that needs to be checked and you have a flag associated with it. So further on in the video, I'll explain to you what flags and patterns are. But before that, let me give you a small example of what a regular expression is. So I've made use of this website called regxr.com. I'll link it down in the description box below. So this is the website. Now here, let me just show you a simple regular expression. Now, say we have a text that says apple, all right? And now we have to search for the letter A. So what I do here, now this is going to be my expression. So I first provide a pattern, right? So I just say capital A. So when I say capital A, you can see that the letter A has been matched in my text, all right? So it's as simple as that. Now, one thing to remember is that here it is case sensitive. All right. So if I say a regular small a, it does not get matched. All right. So if I want to match AP, I can just say AP and it gets highlighted here. All right. So this is a simple regular expression that matches with the text. So moving on, let's see what exactly these flags, patterns and quantifiers are. So what exactly is a flag? So we previously saw that the syntax consists of a pattern and then a flag, right? So these flags basically specify to alter the behavior of a regular expression. Now these flags are generally appended after the regex literal and can be specified as a second argument in your expression, right? So let's see the different flags that are supported by JavaScript. Now you have these five flags here. You have G, which is the global flag. Now this five all matches instead of stopping after the first, all right? Then you have I, which is ignore case, which makes the entire expression case insensitive. And then you have M, which is multi-line. So the caret and the dollar match the beginning and the end of each line respectively. Then you have Unicode. And if this flag is not supported, you must match specific Unicode characters. And then finally you have Y, which finds all the consecutive or adjacent matches. So moving on, we have patterns. Now these patterns are basically brackets and are used to find the range of characters. Now again, we have these patterns. You have A to Z, which finds all the characters from A to Z in lower cases only. Then we have 0 to 9, which finds all the digits between 0 to 9. And finally, we have the letters of the alphabet and the digits separated by a pipe. All right, so this basically finds any character, be it an alphabet or a digit. I hope this was clear to you. So moving on, we have quantifiers. Now these quantifiers define the number of occurrences of a particular string. Now consider n to be a string. So we have three quantifiers here. We have the plus, we have the asterisk, and we have the question mark. So plus indicates one or more occurrence of the character n. All right. And the asterisk indicates zero or more occurrences of the character n, while a question mark indicates zero or one occurrence of the character n. So now that you know flags, patterns, and quantifiers, let me help you understand them better with the help of a demo. All right, so here I have a simple text which says, welcome to this tutorial on JavaScript. This video teaches regular expressions. Now here, when I search 
for a particular word say let me search for the word this okay so i say this now ideally even this has to be highlighted right however it does not that is because as mentioned earlier it is extremely case sensitive right so what we can do is here we have flags so here i say case insensitive so once i click on that both these words get highlighted all right so this was how you make use of the i flag now moving on let me help you understand patterns now as mentioned you can have a range of characters now just in case here say i just make it case sensitive again and here i would like to select all the letters of the alphabet from a to z all right so when i do that you can observe all the letters are highlighted except the ones that are in the upper case correct because that is not mentioned here so here when i make it insensitive you can see all of them get highlighted so this is how you can make use of a pattern now to understand quantifiers let me use a separate text all right let's have a couple of a's and a few b's now here when i say a you can see all the characters a are being highlighted right which is correct but when i use the asterisk symbol here what happens is you can observe all the four a's are considered to be a single unit what asterisk does is that you can see here it says matches zero or more of the preceding token now the preceding token is a and matches zero or more occurrences of the character a now same if i say b next to it you can see all the characters b are matched right however you can check the characters a in this particular text are not highlighted i'm sure you can understand why because the expression that i'm looking for is any occurrences of a followed by the character b in this text here there are no characters a and b together correct so here you can see that a is not highlighted but once i given asterisk again what happens is that the character a gets highlighted what happens is that b can have zero or more occurrences so here there is a zero occurrence of b so a gets highlighted so this is how the asterisk quantifier works now one of the most important concepts of using regular expressions are the special characters so here we going to indicate the special characters with the backslash so we have backslash w for example now what w does is that it matches any word character right so all the characters here get matched now it also has a counter character which is the capital w all right so what this does is that it does not match any word so it matches everything that is not a word including the periods now let's see we want to match all the white spaces you can make use of the character s here all right and when you have the upper case s it matches any character that is not a white space now let's say you want to match a digit you can just have backslash d so let me just type in a few digits and here you go all of them get matched now let's say you want to have a range of values that get matched right now let's say i want to match just three digits so i can make use of curly braces and within which i can mention three now here you can see that it matches three of the preceding token correct so the preceding token is basically a digit so it groups them in threes so let me just add two other digits and there we go same goes with the matching of words so here let me say w so when i say three all of the characters are grouped in threes all right now let's say i want to group the words that are 3 or 4 in number so here i can just say comma 4 all right now it gets matched all right so now it gets grouped in fours so this is a simple example to show you how special characters work in a regular expression moving on let's see how you can use regular expressions to search for phone numbers now here in my phone number i'm going to have an area code so let's say 080 followed by a eight digit number all right 
So let me give a random number. All right, so it's eight digits. So some people write a phone number like this, while others could write it something like this. You could have a hyphen in between and then an eight digit number. All right, now how are you going to look for this text? So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the special character that is for a digit. We we'll make use of hyphen D. And first we're going to look for the area code that is a three digit number, right? So let me just say three here. And next we're going to have an optional hyphen. So for that, now since we learned a pattern can be enclosed within square brackets. So let me just say hyphen here. And let me say a question mark. Now a question mark indicates zero or one occurrence of the preceding character, right? So we're going to have a hyphen for a question mark. And then finally, we're going to have a digit again. And here the number of digits is eight. So let me just specify that. All right. So when this happens, you can see both my numbers are getting highlighted. Although the text remains the same, it could be specified with different formats, right? So just like this, you can create expressions that match various formats. So this was just a simple video to acquaint you with regular expressions. And with that, we come to the end of the session. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section. I highly suggest you play around with regular expressions more. It will help you understand them better. Thank you so much for being here and watch out for more videos on JavaScript. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.